What is going on Football World and welcome to the final video about the first Nations League group stage. They had to come, the last two match days of the Nations League group stage. But we were not disappointed, they were full of drama and full of goals, most importantly. Let's begin with League D. In the most relevant group of League D, Luxembourg were beaten 2-0 at home by Belarus. And they basically lost their chances of going top of the group. Andorra drew 1-1 against Georgia and that was the first goal ever conceded by Georgia in the Nations League and also the first points lost. Wow. <laughs> and they did, it, did that against Andorra of all teams. Now, and then Luxembourg only drew 1-1 against Moldova away and they really screwed that up. <laughs> oh Luxembourg. <laughs> okay so League C had a lot more of interesting scores. Like, for example, Greece defeated Finland 1 0, and that was the first defeat by Finland in the Nations League. Ever! <laughs> and afterwards, Finland lost 2 0 to Hungary away. Damn, what the f? Sorry. What the hell, Finland? <laughs> uh, maybe they were playing with the reserves, as in they were already promoted, so yeah, who knows. Group 4 of League C. Serbia defeated Montenegro 2-1 at home. It was an important derby win to <coughs> to almost secure the top of the group. With that Serbia win, Romania really had to win against Lithuania, which they did 3-0, which was a pretty easy win to keep up with Serbia. And after that, in the last match day, uh, Romania had an away game against Montenegro, which they had to win to just hope that um, Serbia would lose against Lithuania. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Romania won 1 0 and Serbia won 4 1. Yeah. But Serbia won especially nervous as um, at half time it was 0 0. So at half time, um, Romania was on top of the group. I'm so close. <laughs> on our final match of League C, <coughs> Scotland beat Israel 3 2. And. Um, Israel only needed a draw to go on top of the group, and with that, Scotland went in first place. <clears throat> in League B, Slovakia smashed Ukraine 4-1 at home to keep their hopes alive for first place, and that was also the first defeat of Ukraine in the group. They still had hopes until that match against the Czech Republic away, which they lost 1-0, and they screwed up. In the most spectacular uh, league of them all in League A, Croatia defeated Spain 3 2, and that was their um, vengeance for that 6 0 win away in Spain. And uh, this defeat cost Spain the insurance of going top of the group. I had to hope that England won't beat Croatia. England, of course, beat Croatia 2 1 after they were <laughs> 1 0 down and went top of the group to go to the playoffs in Portugal. In another group of League A, Netherlands smashed France 2-0 and that also cost France the insurance of going top of the group. And the Netherlands needed a draw against Germany to go top of the group, which they freaking did. <laughs> they, uh, Germany drew 2-2 against Netherlands after they were 2-0 up. They were 2-0 up in the 85th minute. And probably the most spectacular <laughs> match of League A and the entire Nations League. Um, Switzerland smashed Belgium 5-2 and Switzerland needed to win by two goals to go on top of the group and they were 2-0 down. So they just fired five goals in afterwards like it was no big deal and went top of the group and to the playoffs in Portugal. Those were the most important uh, results in the leagues. So now let's take a look at the standings as usual. In League D Group 1, we got Georgia on top with 12 points, Kazakhstan with 6, Latvia with 4, and Andorra with 4. So Georgia get promoted and go to the uh, Euro 2020 playoffs. And I really feel sorry for Kazakhstan because I, I kind of wanted them to win. In group 2, we got Belarus on top with 14 points and promoted, Luxembourg with 10. Moldova with 9 and San Marino with 0. So, yeah, I I said that Luxembourg would go on top and they had the, they had the potential, you know. 
I really didn't expect Belarus to do that well. So Belarus, they get promoted and go to the playoffs. In Group 3, we got Kosovo on first place with 14 points, then Azerbaijan with 9, the Faroe Islands with 5, and Malta with 3. So Kosovo get promoted, which is a really big deal, considering the fact that uh, they only got recognized by UEFA and FIFA like one year ago, two years ago? N not longer than two years ago. And in Group 4, we got uh, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia with 15 points, uh, Armenia with 10, Gibraltar with 6, and Liechtenstein with 4. So again, uh, Macedonia go through to the playoffs along with Kosovo, Belarus and Georgia. And they will meet in the spring of 2020 to determine what one of them to go to the group stages. And can you imagine if Georgia, Belarus, Macedonia or Kosovo actually go through the Euro 2020? Yeah, they'll probably just go out after the first round. In League C Group 1, we got Scotland in first with 9 points, Israel with 6 and Albania with 3 points. Um, yeah, Scotland get promoted and nobody gets relegated from this group and I will explain that in a second. In Group 2, we got Finland on top with 12 points, Hungary with 10, Greece with 9 and Estonia with 4. Yeah, Estonia get relegated to League D next season and Finland get promoted to League, to League B and also go to the playoffs as you probably know. In Group 3 we got Norway with 13 points, Bulgaria with 11, Cyprus with 5, Slovenia with 3 points. And in this case uh, Norway on top of, uh, get promoted to League B and go to the playoffs and uh, Slovenia and Cyprus get relegated. I'll explain that in a bit. In the last group of League C, Serbia with 14 points, Romania unlucky with only 12, Montenegro with 7 and Lithuania with 0. They got relegated way back. Yeah, so Serbia goes to the playoffs. Congratulations. So, <laughs> now let's go to that um, explaining things. So, as you probably noticed from the first video, <laughs> uh, the first group of League C only consists of three teams. And what UEFA did was uh, put the third rank teams in a separate table where they eliminated the results of uh, against the fourth rank teams and just did a table and it looks like this. So Greece with six points, Albania with three, Montenegro with one, uh, goal difference 1 to 5 and Cyprus with 1 point uh, Goal difference 2 to 7. So Cyprus is the worst third place team here and they also get relegated to League D Along with Slovenia, Estonia and Lithuania Up to League B go Serbia, Scotland, Finland and Norway. Speaking of League B Group 1 is Ukraine with 9 points, Czech Republic with 6 and Slovakia with Three points in third place. <laughs> so you know that really Ukraine get promoted and go to the Euro 2020 playoffs and Slovakia get relegated to League C. In group two we got Sweden with seven points, Russia also with seven points and Turkey with three points get relegated to League C. Sweden got uh, promoted in, <coughs> in front of Russia because their goal difference is five to three and Russia's is 4 to 3. In group 3 we got Bosnia and Herzegovina with 10 points on top, Austria with 7 and Northern Ireland with 0 points. They get relegated and Bosnia get promoted to League A next season. In group 4 we got Denmark with 8 points, Wales with 6 and the Republic of Ireland with 2 points. So both Irelands get relegated to League C and Denmark gets promoted to League A which is a little surprising because I expected Wales to go on top. So both Ireland, the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland go down along with Slovakia and Turkey and Ukraine go up along with Sweden, Bosnia and Denmark they go up to League A and to the Euro 2020 playoffs. Finally in League A we got uh, the Netherlands with 7 points, 
France with 7 points and Germany with 2 points in Group 1. And Netherlands got on top because they <laughs> oh, sorry, because they got uh, the superior goal difference, get 8 to 4 and France got 4 to 4. And so they go to the playoffs. In Group 2 we got Switzerland with 9 points, Belgium also with 9 points and Iceland with 0 points. Yeah, uh, Switzerland has goal difference. 14 to 5 as you can see and Belgium 9 to 6 that's why Sw Switzerland goes <laughs> on top of the group and to the playoffs and a chance at the first ever <laughs> Nations League trophy and Iceland gets relegated to League B in Group 3 Portugal with 8 points on top Italy with 5 Poland with 2 and yeah, of course, Portugal will get promoted and Poland gets relegated in group 4 and the last group England go on top of it with 7 points, Spain with 6, damn and Croatia with 4 points so Croatia gets relegated alongside Poland, Iceland and Germany but surprisingly Croatia was the best 3rd ranked team in here England go on top of the group and to the playoffs the playoffs which will take place in summer of 2019 in Portugal and just a couple of days ago but the semi-finals were confirmed and that uh, they will be Portugal against Switzerland and England against the Netherlands and afterwards the final of course so who do you think will win? comment below so yeah guys that was it um, the first ever um, UEFA Nations League group stage came to an end I look. I personally look forward to the fight, to the playoffs, and of course to um, the Euro 2020 um, qualifiers, because there are some harsh groups there. Yeah, um, I will uh, go on in 2019 with the playoffs of uh, the Nations League, of course, and when the qualifiers begin, I will talk about them also, as well. But yeah, until then. Um, Take care and be awesome.